back. If they continue to cheat, you continue to cheat against them. But if they go back to cooperating, you do as well. Tip for tat. Whatever they did in the previous rounds, you do in the next one. And it turned out, tit for tat outcompeted all the other strategies. To use the evolutionary metaphor here, which is not irrelevant, tit for tat drove all the other strategies into extinction. It outcompeted all of them. And this was this landmark observation. Number one, you can use a computer to come up with a mathematically optimal behavior. And the fact that on a certain level, the tit for tat strategy is kind of nice. It's nice, it's cooperative, nonetheless, it punishes you if you mess up, if you cheat against it. Amid punishing you, it's also forgiving, you go back to cooperating, it does it well, and it's perfectly straightforward. And what we saw was, there's a bunch of species whose patterns of social cooperation and reciprocal altruism match, in lots of ways, a tit-for-tat strategy. This was the ideal strategy in these games. What people soon realized was there's a vulnerability in the tit-for-tat strategy. You're sitting there and saying, well, why should tit-for-tat win? If tit-for-tat plays against someone who cheats all the time, the very first round, that individual gets more points than you, then they cheat for the rest of the time, and as a result, you cheat for the rest of the time. Every other round, equal outcomes. Tit-for-tat is always going to lose against a strategy that cheats all the time. Why should tit-for-tat come out ahead? And the reason why is every time the cheaters interact with each other, they get hardly any points. And every time Tit for Tat interacts with another Tit for Tat, they start getting tons of points. And the jargon that's always used in the field to describe this is Tit for Tat always loses the battle but wins the war. In the long run, the cooperative strategy comes out as long as Tit for Tat can find somebody else who cooperates. And we'll see just how non-trivial that issue is. The individual interaction may be disadvantageous, but in the long run, the cooperators outcompete the cheaters with each other. But there is this one drawback, which is, what if there's a mistake? What if there's a signal error? What if the communication between the two sides is not so hot? What if somebody playing tit for tat inadvertently giving off a cooperation signal has somehow something got messed up in the wires and instead the opponent believes they just cheated? What if there was a signal error? That individual following the tit for tat strategy will cheat the next time. At which point you say, what's the deal? We had this great thing going, and you cheat back, and you tit for tat back and forth for the rest of the time. The tit for tat strategy is vulnerable to a signal error. And that is exactly what was accomplished in some thriller in the early 60s that I remember reading as a kid, doomsday scenarios of the United States against the Soviet Union, where there was a mistake, somebody's, you know, little fuse burned out or who knows what, and one side launched a nuclear attack on the